Okay, today I saw a post from Runway saying that they'd released a major update for their text-to-video and image-to-video generation in Gen 2. This is the video that they released. This definitely looks great. This is definitely an improvement. The one thing you probably notice is that there's not a lot of movement in this stuff either, but I know that's part of the trade-off. I've been using Runway Gen 2 since it was in private beta, and when it came out in public release, I noticed the video looked a little different. So I did a little comparison video. There's a link to that video in the description. What I'm gonna do now is take those same prompts, run them through Runway Gen 2 and see how they do. To start, we're gonna to go to runwayml.com. They even have a nice little try now button. And then we'll go to Gen 2, click on the text. I'm gonna keep the default motion. I'm gonna do a free preview, which will give me four options. What I'm gonna do is try and pick the one that looks the closest to my original clip. And technically none of these do because these are all guys. Let's run it again. And we have a little history over here now. Again, all guys, let's try again. So apparently all the cooking show hosts are bearded men. All right, I'm gonna leave it up to chance this time and I'm just gonna hit generate four seconds and see what happens. All right, here's the cooking show clip with the Gen 2 version the public release version, and now the new updated version. He's definitely cooking food. It almost looks like this is like a slow motion error that happened, like where he spilled everything. I think, is he making giant French fries? But there's lots of different kinds of food on the table. The lighting's super nice. Definitely a thousand percent, it's an improvement. This is one of the first prompts I ever tried with Gen 2, and it's the one that made me fall in love with it because I tried to do something that was weird, and it came up with this really surreal clip, and I loved it so much. It, made, it literally made me fall in love with AI. And I'm not gonna do this for all of them, but I'm gonna do it for this one. I'm gonna use the same exact seed that I used for my original prompt. So if you don't know, the seed is sort of the starting point for how it generates things. This looks like the closest to the, the original one that I had. So I'm gonna generate that one. This is the three-legged person riding a bike, zero motion. Granted, this is a weird one, but still. All right, here's the yoga pose. Very, very limited motion. There's so much basketball footage. I'm hoping that this is semi-accurate and a little bit more motion than just a still image. Let's see. No, <laughs> there's like some smoke coming in there. Oh. All right, we're gonna go here to this little button and change the general motion. Let's just bump it up. I'm gonna go to 10. I wanna go all the way to 10. This is the most motion we should be able to have for this. And this is a sports shot. Um, if I were, I'm trying to keep the original prompts as I was doing. So I don't want to add anything. So let's give this a shot. All right, to me, this is out of all of these, this looks like this has a lot of promise to be a really amazing shot. Oh, this is a good one too. So close. They really like adding some smoke effects in there for some reason. So there's more motion, but the motion seems to be like in this background. His arm is moving a little bit, but his body's completely stationary. See how this one goes. Oh, I didn't realize he's barely off the ground there. This is better. Like that's almost, that's what I wanted, kind of. No, he just looks, but he's jumping at least. You know what I mean? All right, high hopes for this one because it's a cat one. Let's see how we do. This should have motion because it's got, he's, one of them's jumping in the air. Let's give that a shot. It's almost weird, but it's not weird. You know, like it's like the old stuff was weird. This is just like, don't know what's happening. All right, here's a nature shot. I expect this to be amazing because this is like their whole deal right now is nature, right? This is beautiful. <laughs> the moss. It's interesting. There's like a little moss frog there. Right, this is this is nice. There's some sunlight in there. Let's generate this one. Again, this is going to be amazing. Guaranteed. Awesome. Brilliant. Love it. Even the reflection. Look at that. You got a sun up here and you've got the reflection there. Killing it on the scenery. This is just one that I like because it's kind of strange looking. All right, so that one, because it's actually got the NTSC color bars, sort of. So this one, I know this is a weird one. This makes no sense, but props to them for getting, I've, I've now got the thinker and I've got a TV 
with NTSC color bars on it. All right, explosions. This is a solid use of Gen 2. What's super cool about this now is in the previous versions, they didn't have the ability to do camera controls. And this has been out for a little bit longer. Since I'm using the same prompts, I could actually go in here and I could say pan up and I could say a certain amount of time. So ideally like we're panning up and then we'd be getting some sort of smoke. So let's do a free preview there of one where we're panning up. All right, I'm, I'm gonna generate this one cause it's in a driveway and there's explosion stuff. So I'm hoping that when it pans up, you see all of those flames go up too. So let's generate that one. I think I did it too fast for the pan up, but I'll take it. What's cool is that you have control over it. So you can, you know, zoom out, zoom in, whatever you'd want to do. That's a super cool feature. And this one, definitely another surreal one. This is like a much, okay, this is better because it does have an iconic location for the Maldives. For this one, I'm also going to put the seed for my original one. This is one of my favorite ones, so I want to check it out. Getting a little saucy there, Runway. That looks like Julia Roberts. Oh my gosh. Is that like, uh, I don't know, Bradley Cooper? Is that just, I don't know. They're not moving and not much is happening. All right, let's try this one. Fingers crossed. Come on. Why did it still pan up? I thought I turned it off. All right. Reset. Okay. So hit reset. So now I'm going to do this again. Free preview. Oh man, her face gets a little funky there. That looks more like an error and not like weird AI stuff. That's the wrong kind of weird. Let's try this one. I would like to do this one again, but I don't think I can. It's, it's telling me I've already done it. All right. So let's generate this one. On one hand, the image quality is so much better, but on the other side, it just seems like there's less and less motion. The other thing that's interesting is they're trying to get footage that looks realistic, which is kind of an interesting choice because I think that helps sell it to some people like, hey, that looks like real grass or that looks like a peacock. I think what the people creating with generative AI want, though, is the ability to make things not look real. It's to try and do these amazing, crazy things that are in your imagination. So I'm not sure if anyone is like, yeah, I want to generate wheat. While I appreciate that it looks like wheat and it looks like a forest, I'm not sure if this is like really the true value of AI generated content. I mean, generative AI is this cool new kind of camera, but it's not a good use of this camera if the only thing we're using it for is generating boring stock video. We need to create things that come from your imagination and dreams and nightmares, things that are not filmable in any kind of camera.